said to me that you're supposed to leave this world a better place than you found it. So, and, and, and I know that my generation has failed, uh, uh, but, but we're going to do everything we can to, to change that and, and to do our little bit. How does it feel to be back in Manchester? Uh, well, I'm here quite a lot, so and, and yeah, and it's raining like it should do, so that's fine. Yeah. What is the park going to explore today? I'm going to talk about you know how we started off and hopefully give some inspiration to, to to young people about how it can be done without you know without having loads of money. What advice would you give to anyone um, looking to get into the fashion industry? The main thing that you've you've got to have is you've got to want to do it number one there's no point doing anything in life if you're just doing it because you think you should or because you think it might be an idea but you, you've got to have a passion for it because there's, too, there's a lot of competition you've got to be able to to work hard roll your sleeves up get stuck in it's constant learning you, you're not born you're not born with talent you, you earn it you know you, you work hard and and you and, you, and it's con you know we're, we're still learning At my age i'm still learning and the day that you think you know it all is the day that you'll fail uh, and you've got to get on with people because you know these things don't happen. It's not one person that makes design happen or a brand happen. It's you need you need to get on with your manufacturers. You need to get on with you know salespeople, your marketing people, your banks, every, everything, and the, and the public. So you just you've got to be a decent person, I think, to succeed. If, if you want to make a difference, if you want to have a go at something, you you can and you're willing to learn uh, and study. You know, and it's constant. You know. Who knows? To, we, there's, there's never a week goes past where there's not a new bit of design that our team have never done before. But we, we know how to get stuck in, and we know how to learn, and you, and you can learn. And so it's just that desire to want to make a difference and to, to do a good job. So was it um, a hard process to like build the um, red or dead grass? Well, it never felt hard, but. But obviously, but when you you know, it's still 16 hours a day working a big team, you know, and even now, you know, we just we've just um, come up with a new style of a, a event. We, we also have an events side to our business. We design events and put them on, and we came up with a new one that was launched last weekend. And the team were working in the in the month up to it. It was well, certainly they were working till nine o'clock every night, often midnight, eating in the office, showering in the office. They might as well have slept on the, on the chairs because they were back in again at eight o'clock the next morning. And, um, and so you, whether it's hard work or just, or whether we're all, you know, it's that kind of thing when you're driven and you want to do something. Um, yes, you get knackered in it, but you're not thinking this, you're working hard, but you're not thinking it's hard work, if you know what I mean. You know, it's the big difference between, it's not a chore, and Red or Deb was never a chore, but we, but we would go, you know, we, we could go for a month with sleeping three hours a night, but it was the fun of getting to where we got to. You've got to make sure that you enjoy what you do. Yeah, if, if, you, if you enjoy what you do, you can do without sleep, you can, you can do without watching telly, you can do without going out for periods, you know, you can, you can let your relationships take a second, you know, a second tier down and but you've got to really enjoy what you do and you've got to be driven to, to, to achieve something.